I know you decided that this was the only thing to do, but why am I getting cold feet? This isn't the only thing to do, Babs. If you remember, I wanted to go see the prince all by myself. Your idea to accompany me. Yeah, yeah, don't rub it in. What are you doing? I want to be me, Babs Farley, okay? I'm sick of all these stupid disguises. I mean, I never know if somebody's waiting for me around the corner, if somebody's following me, or... You don't suppose that Cardello knows I'm here? I mean, you know, this whole thing could be a setup. Lance could be down there right now waiting for me. Babs, I'm absolutely sure that Vince doesn't have any idea you're gonna be here. Yeah, sure, just like uh, he doesn't know that you know he's the prince. Is there a back way out of this place? No, there's not. Now, Babs, just listen to me. This is our only alternative now. I just don't know if I can go through with it, that's all. Oh, of all. course you can. No, no, look, look, it'd be better if I just left the country like I said I'd do. It'd be better for everybody, okay? No, no Babs, I'm not gonna let you do that. Now, just, look, Babs, this is our only chance. Oh, Harold, no, I don't want to. Babs, look, if we can convince Cardello that you know about the skimming operation, then you'll be free. Yeah, free. Or dead. Looks like Wayne Rice, the man to beat. It's official, huh? Well, the article says that Oliver's going to endorse him any day now. <laughs> you, Wayne Rice. The right media blitz can turn Elmer Fudd into Abraham Lincoln. And Wayne Rice got some very good people behind him. Media? Me Why is everybody always talking about media? And maybe he doesn't take a stand on things. So what? At least he doesn't alienate anybody. Well, what are you saying I do? All I'm saying is that issues aren't everything. Not anymore. And you keep forgetting, Lee. Wayne Wright looks the part. Looks the part? Oh, I'm not talking about hunk of the month. I'm talking about the United States Congress. People want to have some trust in their man. Wayne Wright oozes trust, stability. Okay, all right, Sebastian, I know what you're getting at. He's been married 15 years. He's got three kids. He goes to church every Sunday. His wife and children are right there with him. You get the picture? People have confidence in that kind of man. You, on the other hand, are a bachelor. I'm a widower. And there's a big difference. Not to the public. To the public, you're a very attractive single man. And I don't know about you, but the last thing I want my congressman worried about is where the girls are on Saturday night. Listen, I understand it would be better, it'd be better for us if, if, if I were married. It'd be better for me if I were married. But let's face it, I'm not. I'm single. I don't have a family. What do you want me to do? You want me to go out and rent one? That wouldn't be a bad idea. All right, I'll tell you what. You go call Central Casting. See if they can come up with a good politician's wife and a couple of kids. Oh, uh, you can joke about it if you want, Lee, but it's the truth. This family thing is going to cause problems, and not just with this election. Sebastian, we've been through all this before. Well, we're going through it again. And again and again. Lee, you need the image of a strong family man. I pay you to run my campaign. But I'm telling you right now that I can win on the issues, not on images. Hmm. I like that. You do, huh? Oh, not the, the thought. The sound has a nice ring to it. Let's work it into a speech. But you don't agree. Oh, that? of course not. But it makes a great campaign slogan. Yeah. Oh, yeah, please send her in. I can use a good interruption. This is, uh, this is Amber Phillips, Kate's daughter. Hello. 
Hi, Lee. May I come in? How are you, Amber? It's nice to see you. You sure can. You know this fella? This is uh, Sebastian Knight. He's my campaign manager. We met briefly during your last campaign. Mother's told me wonderful things about you. <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> nice to see you again. Listen, you think we might be able to finish this up later? Sure. But we have a great opportunity here. Why don't we ask the average voter what she thinks of your image? You told me you had something urgent to discuss with me. What's, uh, what's this all about? <clears throat> yeah, well, uh, you remember uh, Barbara Farley, don't you? Yeah, you're uh, sometime private secretary. Well, uh, I haven't seen you since you last paid me a private visit, Miss Farley. Well, I've been out of town. Yeah, she was out of town because, uh, well, it seems that her former boss is trying to do her in. You remember Ron Washington? I don't have the least idea what you're talking about. No, it's okay, uh, Vince. I'm not going to tell anybody about it. But the word's out. Ronnie and his partner Lance are skimming off their boss. The Prince. Now, you've heard of him, haven't you? What's this hooker got to do with any of this? Yeah, she was a prostitute in the past. In the employ, as I said, of Ronnie Washington. So what do you want from me? But for starters, I want to have Miss Farley's safety assured. <laughs> safety? Come on, Webster. You've been watching too much late-night TV. There have been two attempts on her life. That we know of. The first one very nearly succeeded. They threw her out of an automobile. Yeah, Ronnie's creeps. And the second time, they tried to kidnap her. Only a funny thing happened. Yeah, it was a laugh a minute. I used to have blonde hair the last time you saw me. You know, and it's not because blondes have more fun. Yeah. I thought you looked a little different. Yeah, that's because she was hiding out from Ronnie Washington. She was at our own Redlands house. Now, that's the same place where Miriam Mason was. Miriam Mason, what's she got to do with any of this? Ronnie sent his men over to our own Redlands house to kidnap Babs because she knew about the skimming operation. Only they grabbed Miriam Mason by mistake. Look, she was blonde, it was dark. How could they tell? It's quite a supposition. You got any proof, Webster? <clears throat> No, it's just a, it's just a gut feeling. But all the pieces fit. Yeah. Well, I don't deal in gut feelings, you see. I deal in facts. Now, it is a fact that uh, pimps, though, very seldom get involved in things like kidnapping. But it is also a fact that sometimes their broads try to wreak havoc on them for being pushed aside. Goodbye. Vince, if you know who the prince is, I'd suggest that you tell him to check it out. Remember I told you that I had proof that Ronnie was skimming off the drug operation? Oh, yeah. You told me that, and then you disappeared. You told me you had some evidence, but you were going to bring it to me. What happened to it? Well, I made copies of Ronnie's books, both sets. And I thought I had him in a safe place, except, well, I found out later I was wrong. She hid the stuff down inside the lining of Miriam Mason's handbag. Oh, and that was the same handbag that Miriam Mason happened to have with her when she That's was a... Uh... right. Give that man a cigar. You want my opinion of Lee's image? Yeah. Does the image he projects of his family life appeal to you? Would you have uh, confidence in him? I rather doubt that my opinion would be statistically significant. You see, I'm very prejudiced where Lee's personal life is concerned. Thank you, Amber. You see, no problem. I've got no problem with women and single voters. I told you that. Yeah, well, unfortunately, they take up a very small percentage of the voting profile. But I wouldn't let a little thing like that worry me. Well, I'll check with you later. I've got some calls to make. All right, we'll see you later, Sebastian. Uh, nice to have seen you, Amber. My pleasure. What was that all about? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry about Sebastian. Nothing, really. He's just, uh, he gets on these kicks sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. And he's got this Neanderthal notion that a man's got to have six kids and a wife to get elected in this state. Well, I don't know. He may have a point. As I said, my opinion is not typical. I'm delighted with your personal life, especially since it centers around mother. But, uh, I don't know, single or married, I don't see that it all should matter. What really is important are the issues. Precisely. I want you to know, Lee, that I'm backing you up all the way. Well, I certainly appreciate your endorsement, Amber. And I don't mean necessarily just the race for Congress. Oh? I'd like to level with you, Lee. I want to see you and Mother get together. I think it would be very good for her 
and for you. Well, you won't get any argument from me there. And um, I'll level with you. You know, I think Sebastian has a point. Uh, on the other hand, I'm not sure. I think, I think Kate knows that I'd be very, very happy if she were Mrs. Lee Carruthers. But you know, I have this feeling, now maybe you can tell me, I, it seems like there's some dark horse out there somewhere that I don't know about. I guess you know that Dave is back in town. My little sister would love to see them back together again. I'd die first. You hate your father that much? I don't want that man to be any part of my life. And I certainly want to do my part to keep him as far away from Mother as possible. Mr. Cardello, you've got to believe that what I'm telling you is the truth. Do I? Look, if they've hurt Miriam, I mean, if, if so much... If, if they even have Miriam, your whole argument is a supposition. I don't deal in suppositions. It's your word against Ronnie's. As far as I can see, I'm, it's of no concern to me. But, uh, it would concern the prince, wouldn't it, if it were true? You two are like a snake biting its tail. You say you've got the proof and then you can't get a hold of the proof. But it's true. Ronnie is skimming off the drug operation. And the girls as well. I made copies of the books. If only I hadn't put them in Miriam's purse. Tell him, Harold. Harold, have you seen any of this uh, proof? I know that she's telling you. I know it's true. Another gut feeling? You call it what you want to, Vince, but I know she's telling you the truth. Look, why would she risk her life like this oh, if it on, were? Come on, don't be melodramatic. Vince, you know just as well as I do what those men are capable of. Well, I don't deal in gut feelings. I deal in facts. Now, you're an attorney. You should appreciate that. Just forget it, Harold. I knew it wouldn't work. Just forget the whole thing. Vince, look. There is proof that Ronnie and Lance are skimming off the prince. The proof is in Miriam Mason's handbag. Now, that's all we've got to go on. But if you're smart, you'll tell the prince to check it out for himself. You see to it that she lays low for a couple of days. I'll see what I can do. You mean you believe us? Sweetheart, I don't believe anybody. Anybody. Please sit down. Sure. See, I, I never, I never realized you felt that strongly about your father. He must have hurt you quite a bit. I'm very sorry. I can just see him now going to Mother with some sob story about how this time he's really changed. He always knew exactly how to play on her sympathies. Well, where does your mother stand on this? Has she confided in you? Indirectly. I wish I could say she never wants to see him again, but unfortunately that isn't true. I'm afraid Stacy's tales have piqued her curiosity. But don't get me wrong, I don't think there's any love left between them at all. You seem very sure of that. What I'm getting at, Lee, is that Mother's in a very vulnerable position right now, especially where Dave is concerned. That's, that's, between, that's between Kate and your father. There's nothing I can do about that. I hope you have more confidence than that when you run for Congress. <laughs> oh, I just keep wishing that you would sweep Mother off her feet. A little romance would do wonders for her right now. She needs to forget the past, and look to the future. You could do it for her, Lee. Well, there's nothing that would please me more. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Oh, no, no. It's been my pleasure. I've got to do some location sh uh, scouting for a shoot this afternoon. Mm hmm Lee, thanks for hearing me out. And I meant what I said. I'm behind you 100%. Well, I'm glad to have you on my side. And if there's anything that I can do to help, please let me know. All right, good luck on your, uh, on your scouting mission this well, afternoon. Thanks. See you later. Okay, take care now, Amber. You and Kate Phillips. Ha <laughs> ha, what a team! Uh, what are you, eavesdropping again, Sebastian? Me? Yeah, or did you somehow have this office bug? Oh, nonsense. That sort of thing went out with Watergate. Of course, with my ear up against the door, I couldn't help but pick up a word or two now and then. Just a word or two? Oh, Amber's right. What are you waiting for, man? 
Go after her. With a woman like Kate Phillips at your side, that congressional seat is yours for the asking. Can you keep a secret? Sure, absolutely. Is that the letter? Yeah, this is a copy of it here. Now, I know there must be a clue or something in here, but I can't find it. I've been over this thing so many times, I can't focus anymore. Dear Daddy, I miss you terribly. I'm all right, but the train of my thoughts always leads me back to you. Whew, she sure doesn't write very well, does she? Oh, God. You sound like McGovern. Hey, We're not interested in her style. It just seems so formal. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, little girl. Everyone doesn't have a degree in journalism like you. And what's all this business about the house in Illinois? The carpenters used to live there. You see, the wrought iron gate, the peach tree, the white rail along the porch. Why would she mention that here? Mm hmm. Webster said her father can't make any sense out of that either. Unless those months of captivity have finally gotten to her. You think she's lost it? Mm. She had a nervous breakdown nearly a year ago. Drug problem, mostly pills. Who knows what she was thinking under that kind of stress. I don't know, Jean. This letter doesn't strike me that way. It seems too carefully thought out, even if it is illogical. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, the handwriting's very meticulous. Every I is dotted, every T crossed. She misspelled fright. Stacy, you really sound like my girl. You give the girl a break. But why that one particular word and why no other? And why did you spell it like freight? Coincidence? You're the one looking for clues. Huh. Freight. Freight. And what's this hash mark next to her name? Beats me. Nobody knows. Oh, it looks like a ladder or something. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. The train of my thoughts always leads me back to you. I still say that's a funny way to put it. Wait a minute, what did you just say? I said it's a funny way to put it. No, before that, let me see this. The train of my thoughts. Hey, you might be onto something there. Vince. Oh, Russ. When did you get back in town? Oh, yesterday, but I uh, can't stay long. I'm on my way to Chicago on more business. I just <laughs> thought I'd stop by and see how things were going. Yeah, well, professionally or personally? Well, both. Well, half of that should be easy to answer. Personally, there's not much to tell. Oh? Uh -huh. Yeah, I had uh, dinner with Ron at the King's Arms the other night. Saw Marianne. How'd you go? <laughs> not very well. She saw me and ran out of the restaurant. Tried to talk to her, but what could I say? Ah, uh, I just finally realized that we're through. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought she was good for you. Yeah, well, I wasn't good for her. And I don't want her to get messed up in all this, this uh, racket. Well, I hate to say it, but if you remember, I told you. Yes, I know. And I will miss her, but that's in the past. And that's where I'd like to keep it. Well, perhaps it's just as well. I think I want you to settle down Pay more attention to business right now. Something specific? Uh, it could be. Do you, uh, know Miriam Mason, the daughter of Charles Carpenter? Yeah, she uh, disappeared, didn't she? I remember reading it in the paper. Uh, it's uh, possible that she was kidnapped. Is this another part of your operation? Hey, I wouldn't be that dumb. But it uh, is also possible that Ron Washington is. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, it's a rumor anyway, but I have to check it out, Russ. Why would Ronnie uh, get involved in a kidnapping? What are you telling me, that he's not capable of it? Come on. Sure, it doesn't fit his job description, but he's got all the other qualifications, including greed. Now think back, if you remember seeing anything or hearing anything that would lead you to believe that he or Lance had been holding her. <laughs> no, uh, nothing at all. Well, no, wait a minute. Um, there was a time when they were talking about somebody they called uh, Blondie. I just thought it was another one of the girls. But as soon as I get involved in the conversation, they changed the subject, come to think of it. That's interesting. Hmm. I know uh, Mary Mason's picture was in the paper, but what color was her hair? I don't remember. Was she blonde? Now listen to this. Train of my thoughts, family ties, Smith Crossing, Iron Gate, White Rail. Train, ties, crossing, gate, rail. Railroad! Shh! Keep... Gosh, keep it down. 
This has to be it. Look, and she didn't misspell freight either. She meant to say freight, like in freight train. Of course, it seems so obvious now. She's trying to tell us she's near a railroad. Look at that mark next to her name. A railroad chat. <laughs> exactly. How could I have missed this? <laughs> Some kind of investigative reporter I am, huh? And I said she couldn't write. It's brilliant. Now all I have to do is try and figure out which railroad it is, you know, and then find out where she might be in relation to this. Do you have any idea how many run through Kingsley? Yeah, but who says it has to run through Kingsley? But at least, Stacy, this here is a start. Now, what I'm gonna have to do is get over and see Bab. She might be able to help me out. <laughs> help put you on the right track? Yeah, something like that. Well, look, I'll hold down the fort here. If you need anything, let me know. Yeah, sure. You know what? What? This might be the big start that we've been waiting for. You know what I mean? Wish me luck. Don't say anything. You bet. Keep in touch. Russ, I want you to keep your eyes and your ears open. Now, if you hear anything at all about a blonde or a hostage, I want to know about it. Got it. Now, there's another thing. I have other reasons to believe that Ron has been skimming. From the drug operation? Drugs, girls, everything. Now, look. He trusts you, you see. Since you killed Blue, he... You mean since he thinks I killed Blue? Well, whatever. He's promoted you. He trusts you. But remember this, Russ. Blood trusts more. I understand, okay? Okay, now look, if... Uh... If you can, I want you to talk to your people on the street. Find out what it is that he's uh, charging, and uh, that'll give us a clue. Will do, Vince, but I gotta tell you, I don't think that uh, Ron's dumb enough to cross you. I wouldn't have thought so either, but there's too many things pointing to the possibility that he is. And Russ, if he is, he's dead. Mm -hmm.